So I have a 2007 Toyota Avalon with a whopping 15,000 miles on it and here it is 2016. I take the car to get it inspected and it's rejected. Or at least I told them to reject it, not repair it. And it's rejected because the rear brake light doesn't work. The center light here that I'm showing you that's working. Well, I drove all the way back to the dealer was going to show him that it was working and it didn't work <laughs> so I get it home and it works although in fairness the first time I depressed the pedal it didn't work but the second and third time I did here it is so it's an intermittent problem and now I get to replace it and here's why the dealer wanted four hundred dollars they wanted hundred and sixty nine for the part and two hours of shop labor for a total of four hundred dollars for the bill and the reason is the back seats have to come out so you can gain access to the rear shelf back there so you can remove the light so now I get to figure all this out how to remove the bench seat the back seat the rear shelf and then the part wow it pops right out okay we got a wire here. Um, what I've found is you don't need to take it completely out. You just need to access the bolts for the uh, back seat here, which are usually located right here. And they are. It looks like uh, three anchor points. Let me zoom in here. You can see the center one and the passenger side one, so I'll undo those bolts. And there's a bolt behind the headrest. All right, next the C-pillar needs to come out, and let me tell you, that was no bundle of joy. I did not like that at all. There are three anchor points that you have to pop off, but this guy right here, he slides off, so the bolt sticks in there, and you have to slide it off that way. So you can't pull it off. That's This is the front. can't pull it off. you got to pop off this guy, this guy, and this guy, and then pull it straight out. Sucks. So to free the rear shelf, you need to uh, pop these little tabs off here, these uh, rivets as they were, uh, from the leading edge of the, edge of the shelf. And you can see them pretty easily if you look underneath the shelf. They're attached to four of those little uh, frame stays. And it, they just pop right out. You don't need any tools. Just lift up on it and one, two, three, four, it's out. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it just clips on the back here. You just kind of pop it out, and then it's ready to come out. Just kind of pop it out, and there it is. Well, unlike the BMW 7 Series, I had an E38. The window shade is attached to the body, where on the BMW it was attached to the shelf. So that makes life a little bit easier. But there is the offending beast that I'm going to replace. So no tools were required. I just kind of bent the uh, tab back a little bit and it popped right out. So I realized I disconnected the wrong end. You can leave it plugged into the third tail light and then uh, this is already unplugged to get the shelf off. So basically you need to uh, remove the old wiring and then tape the new wiring back on to from your uh, new part. In order to remove the wiring from its mounting point, what you want to do is you just want to squeeze the ends. Now it's going to be on the other side over here, so you get your pliers in there, squeeze the ends, and it should just uh, pop right out. Mine, uh, this one side stuck and I had to like push it in until it uh, popped loose. So this is what you'll be dealing with and you'll be coming at it from this direction and you just kind of squeeze it and then uh, allow it to pop through your uh, through hole right here. Okay, here we are, new part, old part. So um, really, I saw a little bit of difference in the lens color and uh, the connector on the new one is white and the uh, OEM was uh, black. Well, that doesn't matter much, does it? Uh, but anyway, I switched lenses 
so that the OEM lens is on the uh, Dorman replacement part. So the first thing I'm going to do is test it. All right, I put my foot on the brake, and I don't even have to have the ignition on it. All right, step one, reassembly, and the tabs back there, don't pull them back. Uh, set the assembly in place, or I mean when you disassemble it, uh, try and like pull it out a little bit and rotate it, and there's ribs in there, and these little hooks will offset on the ribs and it'll come up. Believe me, if you try and pull that tab back, you'll probably snap it off. You can also try and uh, flex this a little bit too, but don't try and push on the tabs, or if you do, just barely put pressure on them. Well, I actually kind of struggled quite a bit to get that in place. I could lock the uh, top up and then the back wouldn't go in, or I could start the back and the front wouldn't lock in, so I locked in the front and just kind of tried to pull everything apart and push down on the back tabs until they uh, clicked in place, but uh, it was really tough and I was trying to be delicate because I didn't want to break anything, so that was a fun adventure. Now I'll just snap the uh, connector in place here. Then I'll just tape down all the uh, wiring. I just use the original tape. Now it's reassembly. I'll flip the uh, shelf over and set it in place and lock down these uh, tabs in the four locations and then we'll go to the C-pillars. Alright, before I assemble everything uh, I'm going to check the window shade and the rear brake light. And now for the uh, C-pillar, there are three anchor points where the uh, panel rivet is pushed into the uh, frame here. One, two, I think the other one can't see it. Maybe it's up here, I'll have to look. But anyway, there is uh, right here between the two straps, the C-pillar hooks into the rear shelf. And then up here, this bolt right here, the C-pillar just kinda just slides right on there. So you wanna, you wanna set it in place so that it's captured by this uh, pin here and slides into the shelf here and then you set the uh, anchor points just press on it and pop it in place and then here are a few other details on the C panel after I put the other side in uh, the piece that comes up from the bottom uh, there's a tab that goes in here it's like a pin that goes in there and then it also clicks into here to uh, wrap around and capture that. And then here's the piece that goes on to the shelf and then there's also another one in the back. Alright, and then the back seats are hung on these uh, spring-loaded anchor points which are controlled by a lever on the bottom bench. You can see there's a wire going through there, see it behind the seat belt. And that connects to the bench. So that bar goes on here and it's captured by this guy and the way you keep this in place is by setting the uh, bolt in the front like I showed you on disassembly. I know I misspoke earlier in the video. Uh, I'll see if I can edit it out so there's no confusion, but if I don't, there are four anchor points for the seat backs, two for each one, and they're located right here, there with the two black tabs. I think I said there were three and one hidden one uh, right here, but that's not the case. There's two anchor points, one here and one there, and one here and one on the end. So an anchor point in the middle for each of the backrests and then on the ends. All right, in conclusion, if the shop can do that in two hours, more power to them. So anyway, I did learn something. Uh, the back of the seats move. Here, let me show you. 
that handle down there moves the backrest. You just pull it up and 